This morning I'm in Kilmore Quay in the sunny southeast for a very special challenge, Alan. As part of the RNLI Respect the Water campaign, which launches this week, I'm taking part in a professional sea rescue. The RNLI are based in 46 locations in Ireland, both coastal and inland, and are primarily a search and rescue service. There are over 1,000 launches every year in Ireland and up to 1,100 people rescued, so the awareness of the RNLI is extremely important. This week, the RNLI and the GAA have joined forces to try and reduce drowning. This is all part of the RNLI's Respect the Water campaign. All the crews here in Kilmore Quay, bar the mechanic, are volunteers, so it's time to catch a quick word with two of them, Joe and Vera. So Joe, you're the operations manager here, so how long has this station been in operation? This station has been in operation since 1847. Wow! When the first uh, lifeboat was installed in Kilmore Quay. And it's continued on in the village, it's an integral part of the village, mm. and the village are very involved with the lifeboat. And we go to you, Vera, you're, you're one of the volunteers I here am. in Kilmore yes, Quay. Yes, yes. And I mean, it's incredible to think that all these thousands of lives are being saved every year by people just like you who are working on a voluntary basis. Yeah, well, that's how it survives all through us. I'm, I don't mean that I'm doing it all, but... Yeah, yeah but like five yourself hours. and the, and the uh, people who are here behind amazing. us this morning, yeah. And they all just love doing it, and they're very proud, and we're very proud of our lifeboat down here. Also, there has been the tragedies. There has in... 1977, the lifeboat was called out on a very stormy night, Christmas Eve, in fact, in 1977. On the way back, the lifeboat capsized twice, and we lost one young volunteer, Finton Sinnott, who was just 20 years of age mm -hmm. and had a young wife and two little children, so to and try to rescue others. Your, so. your husband was involved in it as well, so you were, you were saying that had been involved over the years, many years. So you know because you hear the beeper going, I hear the off. Beeper so, going off. And so that for you when you're at home and you hear that and you're going, oh God, yes, there's yes. the, I the got boat's somebody's gone out. in trouble out Somebody, there. Somebody's yeah. in trouble, yeah. Yeah, and you're comfortable in your bed and the lads going out there in all weathers, they're amazing. You know, nothing's too big or too small for them to go out to. They're fantastic. Young Sun heroes. Next, it's time to speak to Brian Kyo. Brian is one of the mechanics within the RNLI, and each day Brian ensures that everything is up to scratch in case of an emergency. As Brian discusses his daily routine, he checks in with Rosselaire Coast Guard to make sure signal and frequency is loud and clear. Uh, Rosselaire Coast Guard Radio, Rosselaire Coast Guard Radio. Kilmore Key Lifeboat Station, Kilmore Key Lifeboat Station. For a radio check, please. Uh, Kilmore Key Lifeboat Station, this is Rosselaire Coast Guard Radio. You're loud and clear. Checking the kits is another important task in Brian's day. The kits are expensive, so to ensure that they are kept safe and that nothing is missing or broken, Brian checks them every single day. So this is the kit room, and how many kits have you here? We're about 20 or less uh, full kits, and all together here, you know, each, each individual has their own kit, their own boots. So their, their own names are yeah. on them, so they know when they come in, this is mine. And, and the time, the, I, I'm very impressed at the time, the call goes out and you try and launch the boat within seven it's, to ten minutes? As quick as, as quick as possible, yeah. And you can, you know, uh, myself, I go straight to the boat. I keep my own gear is aboard the boat. So it's, it's ready to go yeah. when the other lads arrive? Yeah. The RNLI lifeboat in Kilmore Quay is known as Killarney. It cost over three million euro, which was kindly donated. Brian talks us through the lifeboat and what he checks on a daily basis. Uh, first thing I do when I get on board is press the green button, which starts up the computers, and it's also opening seacocks down below for the engines. Uh, there's four seacocks to be opened up. So why What's that's a happening? What's seacock? Uh, to let to let the salt water into the engines for, okay. cool, for cooling the engines. And what, what's downstairs here? So I would go downstairs then, uh, once the computers are getting getting up and running, mm -hmm. I can go down and do my checks on the engines, uh, check for check the oil level, check the water level, uh, just make sure that all the seacocks are open and we're ready to start. Ahead of this week's Respect the Water campaign with the GAA, I've been given the challenge of taking part in a man overboard exercise. What have I let myself in for? As we mock up our rescue, we head back to the base to see each step of the rescue. 
The first call is reported to Joe, who we spoke to earlier. Joe's title is Lifeboat Operations Manager in Kilmore Quay. When a call comes in, he sets off the pagers, which every volunteer has in the village. And before you know it, volunteers are approaching from all directions from Kilmore Quay. They change into their kits in record time and run down to the lifeboat. All right, lads, as quick as you can, off. We have a man in the water. Meanwhile, I get into the RNLI dry suit with the help of Brian and prepare for my jump into the sea. As the lifeboat approaches its destination, I have a quick word with the crew and then it's time to jump into the water. Three, two, one. The aim of the RNLI is to start their launch within minutes. So as I try to stay afloat in the water, the crew start their rescue in their Y-boat, which two crew members on board. A Y-boat is an inflatable daughter boat and is housed under the deck of the lifeboat. I stayed in the water for just a few minutes as the Y-boat stayed some distance away. When the crew members found me in the water, they rushed over and lifted me into the boat. That was uh, really, really scary when you're out there and you know that there's a boat coming for you. So I can just imagine what it's like if you are out there and you're waiting on someone to call and to be rescued because it's very cold, it's very scary, it's very choppy and you do get really nervous. So if you can, make sure that you support the Orinli campaign this week because they do amazing, amazing work and that was that was an experience and that was a real challenge for me, but a real experience. As I relaxed a bit after the exercise, I realized just how important the RNLI is and how boats like the Killarney and crews like the team in Kilmore Quay are such a necessity. The partnership between the RNLI and the GAA is a great campaign and hopefully they will fulfill their aim of reducing the number of deaths at sea.